Hey guys, um, Sam here. Uh, I wanted to take some time to uh, talk about the hardware upgrade. Finally, I got done on my Model 3. Um, so I had bought full self-driving when I purchased the vehicle back um, in 2018. Um, I was a day one reservation holder, so I'm not sure if that uh, goes into when supposedly there were only doing a certain type of VINs or stuff like that. Um, originally I had uh, put in a request to get the chip updated at my closest service center up in Raleigh, North Carolina. And um, about a day before they uh, canceled on me and said that they weren't doing installs, even though I had had the appointment for like two weeks. Um, you know, I, I guess why not um, tell you the day before instead of when it, right when he put it in but either way i did what um most people would do and went to the other service center it's like two and a half hours away so i put in a ticket for them and i said hey you know um, i'd like to get the seat the the chip update and they got back to me the next day said it was possible said everything was good sent me the paperwork i got it signed um and then yeah uh i waited that was about a week and a half out i think when i actually put the appointment date in um, I had to take work off to go over there, so I uh, I had to schedule it out a little bit. But um, the day before I got there, um, they told me that they were out of rental cars and that they'd give me Uber credits or whatever. So that was kind of cool, I guess. Uh, I've never used, I don't really use Uber much. So um, I got there the morning of, and uh, when I went in, the guy was like, okay, well, um, yeah, uh, here's a Model S or whatever. And I was like, okay. Uh, he's like, yeah, I know we sent you the text message yesterday and said um, that we we didn't have cars, but a few cars got turned in. So, I mean, I was pretty happy about that. Um, it was like a 2017 Model S. I had actually never driven or driven in a Model S. Um, I have to say, though, I, I like my 3 better. Uh, the S is a very boaty. Like, it feels like you're driving a boat. Um, super comfortable, definitely luxury, you know, like you, like you can definitely feel that it's like one of those, like you get in and it's like, everything's super quiet, like even quieter than the three. Um, so if you're looking for like a super luxury vehicle, the S is definitely a step up on that part, but it's not as fun as, it's not as fun to drive because it feels like you're driving a freaking boat around. Um, but yeah, so the guy gave me the keys to the car. Um, I dropped it off at about 830 in the morning. Um, it took him six hours to install. He, it's funny because when I, when I dropped it off, he had said, you know, like, oh yeah, we'll give you a call when it's done. And I was like, okay, you know, like I, I live about two and a half hours away. He's like, oh, you're not local. And I was like, no. And he's like, well, thanks for telling me. Um, we'll try to get it done, you know, as soon as possible then. So I, I'm glad that I had mentioned that. That's something if you guys end up doing what I did and putting a ticket in from the service center, don't expect that they know where you're coming from or living um, and uh, just let them know up front. That way they can be a little more cognizant with um, their timing and what they're trying to do, I guess. Uh, he did say that. He's like, the worst case is it would be tomorrow morning because we actually had uh, Model 3 a couple days ago that was having an issue with the software update after they installed the new chip. So that's something that I've heard actually a few times online. Uh, I, apparently on mine they didn't have a problem with it. I don't know if it even goes into... Um, the drivetrain at all if maybe it's only on two-wheel drive vehicles or that that have problems with the update afterwards I, I don't know on that part but um, they had no problems with mine um, so I, I did a test before I got there with autopilot and everything and then after with with the version 3 chip just to see if there's a difference a lot of people ask that um, there's actually there was no difference really um, I do have to say the only thing I did notice maybe a little different was when you'd get cut off. I don't know if you've ever been on autopilot and get cut off. It did seem more graceful for, um, like, there wasn't, when someone cut me off, it seemed like it would react a little faster with, uh, it, it wouldn't break as hard. Like, on the old one, someone cut me off, it would break pretty hard, and, you know, and you feel it. Um, pretty much right after I got out, uh, being in um, Charlotte, uh, which was the other service center, which great people highly recommend if you're in North Carolina just go to Charlotte they're way better than the Raleigh one from everything I've done uh, but yeah as soon as I pulled out pretty much some guy cut me off and it very smoothly just slowed down so I like I said I don't know um, if there were any difference on that it could have just been a uh, um, a fluke or something that like 
you know, I, th I thought it was, but it wasn't. Um, but on that case, then afterwards, I do have to say the graphic updates are are actually pretty cool. I enjoy them. Um, it's pretty neat because, you know, they show that the red light uh, cameras or the actual um, traffic lights show up. But it's not just the traffic lights. Actually, the markings on the ground is what really got the, the, all the turn, like if the lanes are marked, turn left, right. Um, it actually shows you those on the screen as well, which is pretty cool. Um, the the stop signs are cool. They show up every once. Like I don't know. I wouldn't um, I wouldn't say it was perfect. Definitely, definitely not perfect. But uh, the the thing that I don't think a lot of people are looking at and that um, really shows what uh, Elon was saying with regarding to not needing LiDAR for uh, full self-driving is the depth perception, right? So the depth perception, I have to say, was pretty impressive with the new graphics because if you roll up to a light that has multiple uh, stoplights on it, right, you it will actually show you in 3D space almost how one of the lights is more behind the other one. And I was actually surprised at the accurateness of the depth that it shows. Um, there's a few lights that like I'll go to where uh, like if you take a right you'll have like a closer uh, an up close right hand turn light and then you'll have like the normal uh, intersection lights behind it and it actually plots those quite well um, which is I think a big uh, step for replacing LiDAR right because like, that's, that's the issue with LiDAR is LiDAR is, is normally used to um, portray the depth in in the first so of the car can sense the depth of things. Um, but Elon Musk has always been a big, uh, you know, supporter of that vision should be able to, to, uh, see depth. Uh, you should be able to program that. Um, and it seems like they're doing quite a good job about that. Like actually that's out of all the things that impressed me on it was the depth perception of it so far. Um, I, whether or not, you know, uh, I, I don't know how much is, is, um, I say I don't know if they're using maps at all to portray like where the intersections would be and then plotting the um, the traffic lights against that as well uh, so I don't know if they're using some trickery on that but if they're using strictly only vision for that and that's only the vision that's getting the depth perception it is uh, quite well done I, I'd have to say uh, but yeah so not a much change in that the one thing I did notice was uh, summon enhanced summon when you're pulling it up is definitely more reliable now uh i don't know if it's just because it can do faster calculations so that it's not taking as long to do things but on my old one um you know i'd used enhanced summon a few times and it would get like it would pull out and then it would like get stuck like it's waiting like doing something like oh is this person going to pull out is this? and it would just kind of sit there and then i'd be like oh gosh my car is sticking out in the middle of you know the parking lot and i look stupid um so now with the new chip, Enhanced Summon seems to make decisions faster, right? Like there's, I don't get these long pauses in between transitions of pulling out of the space, making the left-hand turn, coming to a stop, turning right or whatever. So I think that would be noticeable um, as well. But I mean, that's pretty much what the only differences I've noticed so far. Uh, there's not really been a new update that's come out yet. Uh, actually, I take that back. Actually, just yesterday, there was a new update that finally showed up. But they had been on the newest 2020 update, 2024.1, I believe, uh, for almost two weeks, which is a very long um, period for, for software release uh, so far. But what it looks like they did, um, I was looking at kind of the, the numbers that were coming in on the Teslify website for firmware. It looks like they finally wanted to reach a very... Um, new like a new baseline for what they wanted most of the the fleet at before they start rolling out uh, new new features so it seems like they were taking a lot of time to ensure that all cars were getting updated to that 2020 release uh 2020 either for 2024.1 um so there, there i think there's a big there's probably a decent change that came in the 2024 model that they wanted to ensure the rest of the fleet was going to be up to that standard before they start pushing out newer software to everyone. So I, I'm one of the people that have received the new version 3 chip in a vehicle that was shipped with 2.5. Uh, 
Um, like I said, my VIN number is in the 70,000s. So, um, and that was because I got a performance, the all wheel drive when they first came out. I probably would have had a lower one if I would have done, you know, the original, I think they were just doing the long range when they first released them. But I, I waited for the all wheel drive on it, which uh, is a good weight. Uh, I mean, nowadays you can't even buy the, nor the long range without all wheel drive. I don't think um, if they do, then it's off, it's off the books. But yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated and it, it did get done. I do say the service center, it was awesome. You know, going in, I didn't have to do much. They just handed me pretty much the keys to the yes. We're like, hey, we'll text you when it's ready. Um, I signed, they sent me an email. I signed the paper for the, for the rental. Um, they were super nice. I can't talk, you know, I've heard some horror stories of service centers, but the, Cer the Charlotte service centers, I mean, they... They're on their game. Uh, they're, yeah, everybody's super nice. Just walked in. They took care of everything. I got there um, a little, they they plugged my, they supercharged my vehicle too right after they were done with the install because they texted me and said it was done. And then when I came in, they're like, oh yeah, we have it on the supercharger for you. So that way you can, you know, drive back. And I was like, wow. like So I, I let it charge for a little bit longer. And um, yeah, I, I have nothing but praise for them. They're, they're a great service center, so. If you're in North Carolina, Charlotte, much better than Raleigh. Um, granted, uh, the mobile technicians up in Raleigh, I love them. They're like uh, Rick. Uh, he comes down and he'll he'll do stuff on the vehicle, um, just the regular maintenance, and he's great. Uh, but the actual service center up in Raleigh, uh, I'm trying to think when I pulled up, like I bought the vehicle from there. Like when I picked my vehicle up, and it, it wasn't bad. Like they were nice, um, though they didn't know it was a performance model, which was kind of weird. Uh, I like when I went to pick it up, they were like, oh yeah, yeah, we got the all wheel drive. I was like, it's the performance one. And they're like, no, it's just all wheel drive. And I was like, I paid for performance. And then we got in the vehicle and the guy was like, oh, like this is the first performance vehicle we had had. Granted that was right when they were rolling out the model threes to begin with. So, so yeah, uh, just a little update. I wanted to, you know, post for everyone. So, uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.